We are neither nutritionists or medical providers. The topics discussed on this show are from our own research and experiences. Please consult your medical provider before attempting anything discussed on this show. Welcome to another episode of Shogun Strong. Strong. This is Brian. And this is Lupe. And today, before we get started, we want to celebrate episode 25. 25. That's as much celebrating as we do. We have balloons and stuff in the background. (laughs) Confetti. So in podcasting, there's a couple milestones. Milestone number one is episode 13. 90% of podcasts do not make it to episode 13. We did because of you. You came, you listened, you gave us some feedback, you began to engage. We continued on. We are now at episode 25. And it's all because of you. We're excited. Thank you so much. We were happy to step up and fill a void of living Shogren strong, positivity, and out there encouraging each other to just continue on and live an active, healthy lifestyle. We have a lot of new followers. Thank you very much. We have a lot of people that have been recently diagnosed, and they find a lot of value in our show, in our message that you could still live a positive, active, and healthy lifestyle, even if you have children. So thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you. On to today's meat and potatoes. That makes me hungry. She has not been eating meat. I am so bummed out because like day 30 hit and I ate meat. She's still not eating meat. And now she's like, I don't think I want to eat cheese anymore. Nope. I think I'm... I'm going to hold off as long as I can. I actually don't crave it. I actually feel really good. Yeah, so why go back? I don't know about her anymore. What does that mean? You're going to leave me? (laughs) Never. Team Lupe. On to today's show. It's springtime, as we are all aware. Everyone has that term spring cleaning. And one thing we do in this house is when it's time to do that spring cleaning, One of the things we pay particular attention to are our first aid kits. We do a lot outdoors, as you are all well aware, and having a good solid first aid kit or kits on hand is is paramount for us. So I have several because one for every backpack and I only have like two backpacks. It can be just a small pouch with some antiseptic and some minor bandages in it up to full kits. Because we do a lot out away from civilization, I have a very large kit. And out of that kit, I can sustain life for uh, a couple of hours minus drugs that um, would be illegal for me to push. I would like to share something. Yesterday, we were driving home uh, from one of our adventures and... We were coming down the 5 freeway, and we noticed a vehicle on the shoulder. And as we were driving past the car, we noticed that a young girl, she was um, administering CPR on someone in the driver's seat. So we pulled over. Brian jumped into action. I always refer to Brian for medical questions or medical advice, or if I don't know what something means, you know, I'll ask him. And I do that because he is a former EMT with LA County. He worked LA County for several years, and he has a little bit more knowledge than I do. And uh, I'm thankful for that. And that's why I refer to him a lot for, for some kind of medical advice if I don't understand something. It's good skills to have, and I'm not saying anyone should go become an EMT just for the skill, but at the very least, hit your Red Cross up or American Heart Association. Get some uh, basic first aid and CPR training. You never know when you're going to use it and need it and what type of impact you can possibly make on somebody's life and those that love that individual. Because yesterday... uh had we not showed up and you jumped in, I don't know how much longer the young girl, you know, she was in her teens, uh, she would have been able to keep going with CPR. It, it was tough. Yeah, it's uh, obviously for me, there's, I don't want to say a familiarity with it, but, you know, I've been there. I've done that so many times I can't count. 
First aid kits, yes. Um, ensure your first aid kit, everything in it is uh, not expired, serviceable, nothing's brittle, cracked, broken. This is a great time of the year to do that. And all your kits, whether you have a kit for each backpack. Only two. Or vehicle or different size kits for adventures, depending on the adventures you go to. But having some sort of kit is worth it. And ladies, you can go um, REI or online and you can find a little tiny kit that's a quarter of an inch thick, maybe by four inches tall, three inches wide that can fit in your purse. But having some basic bandages and some antiseptic is well worth it. And it fits almost anywhere, takes up almost no room. Yeah, I carry one in my purse and it's really thin. I, I'll, I'll post a picture of it. Cool, cool. Something else we do in the springtime is sunscreen. We go through the house, out with the old, in with the new. So I'm really bad. I usually buy a few bottles because I want one in my purse. I want one in my car. I want one in the drawer. Next thing you know, it's time to use it. They're expired. So A, don't buy too many. And B, make sure they're not expired. As you know, I've been walking. I've been doing a lot of walking during lunch and, you know, right before class. And I haven't been using a lot of sunscreen because... I kind of don't feel like I need it because it's been overcast over here for the last several, I don't know, month, month and a half. I had a harsh reminder because I'm getting dark spots on my face that are usually caused by the sun because of my Sjogren's and because of the medication that I'm on make me very susceptible to the sun. So my spots are coming back, even though I use certain lotions to get rid of those spots. Um... Because I haven't been using sunscreen. They're very noticeable, so I have to get on that. So our first aid kits are all up to date. The old sunscreen is out of the house. And when I say old, look, if it expired a month ago, put a little bit on your hand. If it has the same color and consistency that it did, you know, six months ago, whenever the last time you used it, cool. But if it's thinned out or discolored at all, just toss it. A sunburn is not worth it. And it's not just sunburn. If you're out... Receiving those rays, you're losing energy. And to make the most of each and every day, we want to do everything we can to protect ourselves, right? Right. And there's um, there's some sunscreen that's really, it's not greasy and it's really thin and you could wear it under your makeup. So that's an option. So you always have it on, I guess is what I'm saying. And the next thing we want to talk about are eye drops. Good time to replace the old eye drops that are probably in the bottom of your purse, bag, glove box, center console in your vehicle, and get some new eye drops. I usually do not keep eye drops in the vehicle because it gets hot. I just feel like the sun damages everything. If it gets too hot, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say damage. That's something that I usually carry in my purse. I have a shoulder and survival kit, and I keep him in there. Besides Restasis... I use Sustain Ultra and I use the disposable vials because they don't contain preservatives. And I keep those in my Sjogren survival kit that I keep in my purse. And lately, a listener, she turned me on to Refresh Optive Mega 3. And it comes with flaxseed oil and it works really well. She's got a new crack. (laughs) Shoot. If it's going to make me feel good, yeah, it's my crack because your eyes just feel lubricated. It works for me. I alternate. And being springtime, we want to ensure if you do take allergy pills, everything's uh, good to go, not expired, fresh and ready for the new allergy season that uh, is upon us. I don't really use allergy pills. I have used Sirtec in the past. I think I had an eye allergy or something going on. And one thing with allergy pills, they tend to dehydrate a little bit. So if you are one that takes allergy pills from time to time or during this time of year, keep in the back of your mind, you need to increase the amount of water you're taking on board. I did not know that about allergy pills. So thanks for sharing that. They contain acetaminophen, which is a a speed or an upper, and they can dry you out. Oh, I remember Dr. Reba said something. Don't take anything with acetaminophen. I do remember he said that many times. Again, we wanted to say thank you to everybody. 
We appreciate you listening, your feedback, your private messages, your comments on our on our post. Yeah, it really means a lot to us. We uh, enjoy engaging with you all on the social media platforms. I've had a lot of fun. I've met a lot of cool people. Thanks, everybody. As they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Before we find ourselves without, make sure we have all the essentials we need. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Until next time, sip constantly and stay hydrated.